Yo, what's good, YouTube? Y'all know me. It's your boy, MacDeezy. And today, oh yeah, today, it's battle time! Yeah, oh yeah. It's on. Okay, now we got the JBL Charge 4. We've got the Sony XB33. And we've got the LG PL7. Now, while the JBL and the Sony lineups have larger speakers, like the Extreme in the background and the 43 that's behind this PL7 hiding, um, the actual LG, the PL lineup, this is their big boy, okay? So it's the PL2, the PL5, and the PL7. So what you see up there, that's the LG PK7. So that's a different lineup technically, but it is in the LG family. That's why it's showing up there as the bigger brother to this one per se. Okay? So uh, what we've gone ahead and done is we're going to go ahead and do this battle in our normal format where we have our five categories. And those five categories that we're going to cover are price, the look of the devices, and that's very subjective, uh, the sound, which, you know, I'll measure using the trusty decibel meter as usual, and um, then we have some intangibles, and finally, that badassery. So, first up, Let's go ahead and do this, y'all. Before we get right into it, why don't y'all go ahead, get that popcorn, go ahead and get them snacks and them drinks, and let's get it on, all right? So let me go ahead and stop this video while y'all go ahead and get those. For now, don't worry, I'm coming right back at y'all. All right, y'all, we back up in there, getting our drink on, mm, mm, mm. Getting ready for that summertime, so making that rum punch, no doubt, no doubt. If y'all like to get that rum punch on, give me a thumbs up right down below. Yo. <laughs> All right. So first up, we're going to talk about that cost. Okay. So we've got the JBL Charge 4 on Amazon. And by the way, that is the, the one that I'm using right now for these uh, to purchase them. But if you guys want more details on the actual products themselves from their sites, you can see the links down below as well. For the JBL charge, um, right now the charge four from Amazon is $129.99 and that comes in a multitude of colors like camo, red, blue, blah, 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 blah. Next up is your Sony XB33 from Amazon as well. And the cost on the Amazon is $129 even. Okay, and finally we got that LG PL7 from Amazon is $126.99. So based on price alone from Amazon, LG actually is the winner of this first category. Now, of course, we're talking a difference between two and three dollars. So, you know, really, this is a push, but, but, you know, if you really want to go by dollars and cents, that LG does win, okay? But sometimes you may see those discounted um, coupons or this or that, and you can take advantage of that. So when you're searching for these, make sure you look for any coupons or discounts you can get as well, okay? Make sure you take advantage of those. Our second category is that look, okay? Now, that look is a very subjective category, like I said earlier. And that the reason why I say that is because are you an LED person or not? If you are an LED person, if you are not, that is what's going to dictate which of these you truly like, okay? So the, um, the JBL 4, the Charge 4, does not have any LEDs except for a, a little ring that goes around the power and the Bluetooth button when you have them on. The PL7 doesn't truly have a lot of LED lights. It has a few on top for the power and the Bluetooth, um, like just little lights. And then over here on the base radiators, you see this line right here on, on both sides, that lights up and changes color. 
And then finally the Sony. The Sony has the ring that goes around and the speakers that light up as well for the LED. So the definite LED look, you're gonna go with Sony. If you're kind of that in-between, you're gonna go possibly with the LG, and if you want none, you're gonna go with that charge. But for me, I am a LED person. I like that, I like the way it looks, but uh, that's just me, like I said, subjective. You see why I said that? There you go, you got the Sony, first winning that category. For me, that second category, the look, it's definitely gonna be that Sony. Now. The, the mesh material on either the Sony and the JBL are some of the reasons as well why that's, that just feels nicer in the hand to me. Um, whereas the LG, even though it has that very pill look, it, uh, that plastic all the way around just didn't suit my needs. That's just me though, again. So third category, number trace. Okay, so we got that sound. And this is more of a metric category. I am gonna go simply by that, um, by that decibel meter to see who's the winner. Now, what I'm going to do is this. Do you see where the actual riser is right here? It's lined up right there on that W, the tip of the W. I have my decibel meter on the edge of the table. So since the LG's on there first, we're gonna start with the LG, but then we're going to move that LG and put the other devices on that same exact spot and then do the, do the test all over again. All right, so let me do this. I am going to put down my little laptop that has my semi-script on it. Okay, next we are going to move some of this lighting out of the way so we can continue to get these out of the way. Get the Sony on this side, move the charge out of the way, boom. Okay, and so just so you guys can see, that's that Sony XB43 I was talking to y'all about. So we got that lined up there. What we're gonna do is plot out. Okay. Did it turn on? Let's go. There we go. You know you on when you got that light, those little light shows, as you guys can see what I was talking about, that little tiny light show. Not a lot, but a little, but a little goes a long way. <laughs> oh, what'd you think, honey? I'm talking that trash, you like that? I'm talking that trash. <laughs> Them summer drinks kicking in. Summer drinks! Drink, drink. Let's do it. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and we got that second device. We are gonna turn the volume up all the way. Now it turned up over here. Did it turn up over here? That is the question, there you go. So we're connected. All right, so uh, again, this is just my beats for YouTube that I've just, like I said, I created because I don't want any copyright foolishness later on, okay? Okay, so we got 96 decibel meters from the LG PL7. Cool, cool. Let's turn that bad boy off. And let's move on to the next. Next up, we're going to bring in the Sony XB33. Plot out. Right on the same spot. 
I'm trying to make sure I get battery oh. fully charged. Boom. Get that cat hair out of the way. Damn cats. All right, let's rewind. Here we go. Clear the decibel meter from that 96. Bluetooth connected. Okay, so the Sony came in at 95.7. So, a little less than the PL7. Now let's pull out our charge. <laughs> Giggity. All right, see what we got. Turn that bad boy on. All right, where did you connect to though? That's the question. Two devices, gotcha. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and rewind you all the way. Okay. Clear this off right there on the decibel meter. Get this decibel meter ready to go. Here we go. Okay, so as you guys saw, we got the LG PL7 coming in at that number one spot. Okay, so <laughs> that is interesting, you know. Um, okay, so this is the one that came out the most recent from them as far as like uh, LG's intelligent stuff and Sony. So the charge would be the oldest. Sony came out next, then LG came out afterwards. So what I am really seeing is that they actually geared it a little bit more 
excuse me, to um, meeting those standards that um, somebody like me, a tester or something like that, would use. So things like your decibel meter, right? But the reason why I point that out is because, hmm, it, even though it, it was the loudest per se, it did have the loudest volume wise, is this off? Yeah, this is off, okay. Um, the thing that I noticed really was that the bass was a little bit different from each of them. It really is. And so that leads us right into my fourth category. And by the way, LG won that category. So really right now we've got the LG on the price, we got the Sony on the look, and we got the LG on the sound. Fourth category is intangibles. Now, each of these have a terrific little add-ins or, you know, little areas that we're going to go over real, real quick. Some of them are similar throughout, the, throughout the, the format and others are kind of just their own little thing. So, real quick then, um, some of the intangibles that they have in common. They all have that little charging port, like you see right here on the charge, where you can, um, where you can charge a device, okay? Uh, I believe that, let me just make sure, actually, rather than guess, why don't we just make sure. I think that the Sony does not, yep, it does not have, as you can see, um, uh, a 3.5 millimeter, and the LG does. So, the Charge and the LG have the 3.5 millimeter, um, the Sony does not. The all three can charge a device. All three charge using Type C cable, and then um, ooh, what happened here? We went to a different stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go back. This is not new. Let me just go back to open. There we go. Here we go. Okay. So um, they all have, like I said. Those, those few things in common where it's the USB to charge. Uh, two of them have the 3.5 millimeter. The Sony does not. Um, and they all have some sort of app connectivity. So um, JBL has the Connect Plus. Plus Sony has that WPC wireless party chain or party charge or something that they, I don't know what they're calling it now. And LG has a wireless party link. So WPL. So basically, um, that's that's the way it works. Now, um, the way it does work also, IP67, IP5, IPX5, and IPX, I want to say 5 or 7, IP, I, I think it's IPX7 for the charge, okay? So um, some of the differences, the battery life. So the JBL, 7,500 milliamp hours, while the, the LG is 3,900 milliamp hours, but they do claim 24 hours of playtime. I've been able to put them on max and get about maybe five. Um, the, the JBL, I've been able to put on max and get about seven, no, about eight to 10. Um, but the Sony, which they say is 24 hour, once you turn off the light, once you turn the, the actual volume down to half, then maybe Maybe you can get closer to that, like 12, 14 hours, but mostly I find that you get about maybe seven to eight hours out of the Sony um, on full with lights, everything. That's, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not listening to music that long. <laughs> I mean, even at a get together, um, I'd have multiple devices at that point and probably something louder. If I'm just chilling with people's like, you know, having a card game and I'm using one of these, um, you know, that that's more than enough time on all three of them. Some of the differences else. Okay, so Sony comes with NFC, which none of the other two do. Um, LG, besides having that aux in, also has a sound boost. That's a little bit different than the other sound boost that you can do from the apps on these other devices where um, uh, Sony does live, so you can change it to like a more, uh, 
when you do that, it actually takes away some of the bass and puts the, the mids and the highs more to the forefront. And LG has that boost from, bass boost from Meridian. And uh, the JBL is not really a boost per se, but if, in the, if you are in the app, you can do some significant changes. By the way, uh, these two, you can do some EQ differentials. This one, I've not really been able to get anything that's very standard. That's very substantial, I mean. Okay. Now, in that way, on that end, I would say that Sony wins those intangibles because it has just those few little other ways of connecting to the device um, that I truly appreciate. I am an Android user, so NFC does really work for me. Um, next up, we're gonna go ahead and go for that fifth and final category. That is badassery. And people ask me, what was the difference between your badassery category and some of the others that are out there? I'm like, yo, you know what badassery is? It's when I take that out and people are out there looking around and like, yo, where's that music coming from? And I get that a lot. You know, it's like, oh, sh oh, is that is that from you? Is that, what is that? Where is what is that? And people ask me about it. Now that used to be a lot more more easy when I would go out to like restaurants or whatever, and I put it on the table where people can see it as they walk by, and they'll stop, or they'll turn their head, whatever, and see it, and be like, oh oh that's nice or whatever. Whereas now it's more of like yo I'm going shopping, so I throw one of these in the backpack um, as I'm going out, and people just hear my backpack making making music, you know. So then I'm like, well what's going on with your backpack? Nah. It's it's actually a speaker I have in there, and then I got to tell them a little bit more about it, but we're all kind of covered up, so I can't really pull things out. People are a lot less, like, likely to approach, <laughs> needless to say, going on right now for no apparent reason why, right? Finally, though, when it comes to that, when it comes to that badassery, gauging over the last year, I would say, really, it's that... PL7, and let me tell you why. Because it has just enough lights that people are intrigued by it, and just enough bass to not be as loud as the, as the JBL charge, but just enough that people wanna know what's going on there. So really, that's where we at as far as like, you know, with that sound quality, with that final just oomph, I wanna say we're gonna, we're gonna give it to that, to that um, LG. So let me get back in there, do some tallying in my head, and we'll figure out where we're at, y'all. All right, y'all, so here's, here's the final tally, okay? We've got, for pricing, we got that LG at $126.99. For that look, we got the Sony because I'm an LED junkie. For that sound, we got that LG PL7 by a smidge. We talking 95 to 96 decibels, but that JB, uh, but that you know that JBL and that Sony bass is a little bit different. So keep that in mind, y'all. But we got that LG winning that sound. For that fourth, we got that Sony for those intangibles, including things like NFC connectivity. And finally, for that fifth and final category, that badassery. We got the LG, and the LG takes it three to two to nothing for that charge. I know, right? That JBL charge that won so many battles here in the lab has finally got defeated. You know what it was, though? You know what it was? 2020, I think, and almost 2021 when this actually came out and I picked that up. You got 2020 as well for the Sony earlier on in the year. That JBL has been sitting around for a little bit. And since we talking about sitting around for a little bit, that Charge 4, what do we have coming out very soon? That Charge 5. So we might have to do this all over again. And let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see me do this battle again. And while you're down there, you might as well go ahead, give me them thumbs, yo. Give me them thumbs and hey, Always be the hero in your story, not the villain in someone else's. Peace. Yo, you didn't, you didn't subscribe yet? Why you didn't subscribe yet? Yo, go ahead and subscribe. Rock that bell, baby. Peace.